What's up, you freaking geniuses? So here's another transportation practice problem for the PE civil exam, right? So this one says, for the sag vertical curve, so this one over here, the tangent slope at station 2050 is most nearly. And then it gives us these four options, right? So as you can see here, we have a sag vertical curve. Okay, the curve starts at 1400 or 14 plus 00, zero and ends at 2200 or 22 plus 00. zero. And we're trying to find what the slope of this curve is uh, approximately uh, about here, okay? So that's about the station 2050, okay? Now, in order to do this, there's a couple different ways, and they would both require formulas from the PE Civil Handbook, which you can find on the NCEES website for free. Okay, so I already have it open over here. This is chapter five, and specifically section 5.3, which covers vertical design or vertical curves. Okay, so like I said, there's two different ways to do this. Uh, one is using this formula right here, k is equal to la, and if we scroll down a little bit, uh, you'll see k is the rate of vertical curvature. Okay, so we could use that to solve this, but another kind of uh, quicker way, which is gonna be kind of important for this test anyways, you wanna just get through problems quickly, uh, we can use this equation right here instead, the curve elevation, okay? So this equation right here gives us the elevation along our vertical curve at any point, okay? Now, if we take the derivative of this equation, it'll give us the slope at any point along the curve, okay? So this is the part that we're gonna use for this problem right here. So the y PVC, so PVC is the point of the vertical curvature, so it's basically just where your vertical curve starts, okay, G1 is the uh, basically the first slope that you see. In other words, G1 is down here. It says G1 is the grade of the back tangent, okay? So it's basically just the first slope that you see. X is just the distance from where your curve starts to the point of interest, okay? And a couple more variables here. Uh, we covered G1, right? That's the back tangent slope. G2 is just the forward tangent slope or the second slope that you'll see. And L is just the length from where your curve starts to where your curve ends. Okay, so again, we're just gonna take the derivative of this equation right here with respect to X and I'll write it down over here. Okay, so uh, we're gonna say that, uh, let's say Y, so this is the curve elevation, is equal to Y PVC plus G1X plus x squared times g2, uh, sorry, g2 minus g1 all over 2l. Okay, now we're going to take the derivative of this. So we're going to say y prime, right, with respect to x. So this is just a constant, so that just goes away to zero. Uh, g1x, so this is basically a constant times x. So the x is going to go away, so we're just going to be left with g1 plus and then here we have x squared. So remember, bring this down in front. So this is gonna turn into 2x times this whole thing right here, which is again, g2 minus g1 all over 2l, okay? Now, one thing uh, we can still do here to simplify this a little bit is cancel out these twos, right? We have a two on top and two on the bottom. So I can rewrite this one last time as g1 plus x times g2 minus g1 all over l, okay? So now we just have a few variables that we need to fill in. So again, uh, this is gonna be equal to, first of all, g1. So our first slope right here is negative 1.45 plus x. So that's the distance from the start of your curve to the point of interest. So from 1400 to uh, 2050, that's 650 feet, right? 650 feet times uh, g2, which is positive 2.7, right? Minus our first one, which again is negative 1.45, all over L, uh, and again, L is just the full length of the curve, which is 800 in this case. Okay, so if you plug all this crap into your calculator, you're gonna get that this is equal to 1.92, all right? And this is in percent. Right. The reason your answer is already in percentages is because we inserted these values uh, as percentages, right? Negative 1.45%, uh, 2.7%, negative 1.45%, right? So that's why our answer popped out as a percent. So we don't need to divide by 100 here. Okay, so here our answer would be C. Boom.